What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a banger. We got ourselves a Weakness Policy Dragonite and Galarian Moltres team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I cannot thank you guys enough for the support that has been going out on this channel. But this team right here was made by my boy Azback. Azback, thank you so much for dropping this team. I cannot thank you enough for making it. It looks amazing, and I cannot wait to show off the team's synergy on it. But rocking out, we got Primarina in the top left corner, and this might be the last time you guys actually see Primarina now that Tapu Fini is in the game. Tapu Fini is amazing. It can do everything that Primarina can do. It is the same typing as well, so I just feel like Primarina is going to be dying off very, very soon. Normal moveset on this thing, we got Hyper Voice, Hydro Cannon, Moon Blast, and Ice Beam with Liquid Voice ability and Assault Vest item. Behind my face cam, we got Chandelure, we can imprison Trick Room with it, and we got Heat Wave and Shadow Ball. Up in the top right corner, we got ourselves Dragonite, the main Pokemon for this team. Inner Focus, we cannot be flinched with this thing, so no fake outs are going to bother this. We got the Weakness Policy, which is going to work well with the Confi, we'll get to that in a second. And then the moveset of Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Protect, and Fly. Bottom left corner, we got ourselves Confi over here. Confi with Triage and the Babiri Berry Draining Kiss, Floral Healing, Ally Switch, and Protect. We can actually go into a Draining Kiss, proc our own Weakness Policy with the Dragonite, and roll out and absolutely dominate, and then just keep Floral Healing, healing up our Dragonite, or Ally Switching to neglect damage going towards our Dragonite. Then we got Amoongus right below Dragonite with that Regenerator, Koba Berry. You guys already know what Amoongus can do. We got Giga Drain, Spore, Rage Powder, and Protect. And then in the final spot, we got ourselves Moltres with the Berserk ability, Life Force, Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Nasty Plot to set up and protect. Moltres is actually going to work very, very well with Amoongus because we can lead them both. Just Rage Powder out, set up a Nasty Plot, Dynamax, and roll out and possibly just sweep the game. It is going to be amazing, so hopefully we can show that off in today's video. But if you guys want to try out this team, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I'm ready to get after it. Let's try to get some wins with this brand new Dragonite and Galarian Moltres team. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Look at this guy's team. He has Blaziken, Rillaboom, Metagross, Incineroar, Togekiss, and Crobat. I love seeing new Pokemon when I hop into these battles. It's just a good feeling. I don't know why, but I feel like he has two fake out Pokemon. So Dragonite and Confi could be a solid lead considering we can't really be faked out. Because Triage will go over to fake out and then we have Inner Focus with the Dragonite. So I feel like that's just a safe lead. So I'm going to go after that with Confi and Dragonite. See if we can proc with this policy and roll from there. He also has that Metagross, which is kind of annoying. He's not Trick Room, so we don't really need channel lore. I kind of want to bring Moltres in the back considering we have Life Orb. We can do work with that. And then in the final spot, either Amoongus or Primarina. I'm thinking Primarina to be honest. I'm just thinking Primarina. I feel like we need another attacker up in here. Hmm. Or do I want another support mod? The chances are he's going to lead either Incineroar and Rillaboom. He also has that Blaziken. Blaziken's a beast, but I'm definitely going to go Primarina here. Big Primarina can do some work all around. Let's get after it. Let's get rolling. But guys, if you guys want to make teams for me, head into the link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube. That is my Instagram page. You can DM me. If you guys want to make teams. Um, I wouldn't, or if you have teams, just send in the code. And I'll let you know if I'm going to be playing it. But a lot of people have been DMing me. So a lot of the teams are getting filled up. But there are still plenty of other teams that I need. Like Electivire. Uh, or what is it? Is Electivire the final stage? I think so. I think Electivire is the final stage. Uh, Magmortar. I need Magmortar teams. Crobat teams, a Nido King, Nido Queen, I need Blaziken, I need Swampert, there's just so many. All the Tapus, all that good stuff. But there are plenty of teams, so if you guys are interested, DM me in my Instagram uh, DMs, and I'll let you know what teams I actually need. But this guy goes Blaziken and Togekiss. Um, I think I just Dynamax here, and I drop a Max Airstream. Boosting our speed, going after his Blaziken, and then just go for a Draining Kiss and proc in his weakness policy. I think that's fine. I think uh, Draining Kiss will actually go before the Follow Me if it comes out. And if he's Dynamax and we're faster, which is awesome. That's me, right? Or is that him? It might be his Blaziken. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe both the trainers look the same. No, it's me. Okay, cool. My Dragonite is going to be faster than him if he is Dynamax. And Dragonite is pretty fast. And we have that, uh, what's called as well. We got the Airstream coming out here for the plus one speed. But Draining Kiss should go before Follow Me, I think. Yeah, Draining Kiss comes out. Bop, give me my weakness policy. Give me that, baby. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Please don't go for a follow me. I'd rather just take out this Blaziken. Have that thing out of here. Where are you going for a follow me? Let's see. Follow me does come out. So beautiful. Confi gets to go. That's why Confi's so good. Can't be faked out. Follow me. We neglect all that good stuff. Blaziken's going to come in here with a flare, but that's totally fine. Towards my Confi, I think. Go ahead, Confi. Eat that up, buddy. Eat that up all day. I can floral healing myself. I can do whatever I want. Let's get it. Let's get it. Blaziken's going to lose some HP, and Airstream's going to get flying out here when we're plus two. Get out of here. Get out of here. Togekiss gone, yo. Dragonite is so strong, man. It's so strong. 
Are you kidding me? Just take that out like no problem. We're starting to take speed advantage. I can start ally switching. I can floral heal. I can. I kind of have control of this game right here. He's going to have speed boost, but we are still... Actually, we are not faster. We are not faster. That thing's faster than me. But Blaziken has to go. That's a fact. That is a fact. But that is so such a strong ability. Blaziken is going to be an absolute beast. I feel like in a... Or not, not an absolute beast, but he's going to be a pretty strong Pokemon. Like an all-around good Pokemon. But we got this. We could just go for a max quake, which would be awesome. But I kind of want this Blaziken out at the same time. But what does this Metagross have? This thing is Steel and... It's stealing, uh, is it rock? No, it's not rock. What is it? Can I, can I check out this? No, I want to go to info and then go to Metagross. Um, stealing psychic. Okay. Mm. Okay, I see you, Metagross. I do have a ground move. I do have a ground move, and I am plus two. I could floral healing my comfy. And I could boost our special defense. What do I really want to do here? Or I could just start lowering their attack. I think they're both physical attack, and I could just take out the blaze game. But I feel like that's, that's also a smart play. And then I feel like I just have uh, floral healing myself. Oh no, you cannot floral healing comfy. I think I just ally switch. I think I just ally switch here. Dang, now I wish I had a Moongus. Now I wish I brought a Moongus. But well, he's gonna Dynamax the uh, Metagross, obviously. And then I feel like, uh. Oh no, he's Dynamax a Blaziken. So good thing we went after the Blaziken. Let's get it, jeans. Let's get it. <laughs> And we're going to ally switch here. Because I already know what's going to happen. The steel shot's going to go towards my comfy. Which I'm now ally switching. Which is awesome. And the blaziken is going after my comfy now. So, I think that's what's happened. I think the ally switch is really good for us. Bullet punch comes through. Yeah, coming over there. Awesome. And the blaziken is going to go towards my dragonite slot, right? Am I correct? Yes. Let's go. Big ally switch there. I think we take out what's called here. I think we take out blaziken, no problem. And we're going to get minus one onto the metagross slot. Yes, sir. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Big plays coming from jeans. Big plays coming from jeans. What a way to start off this first battle. Dragonite absolutely dominated. Take this thing out. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face, dude. <laughs> Yo, dude, Dragonite is so good. He's so good. What everybody was saying. Everyone's like, oh, Dragonite is such a threat. Such a huge threat. It has been phenomenal so far. This is my first time using it. Um, Do I just show off and get this Moltres out? I do have Fiery Rat. That is wonderful. I think I do go get Empress, and I might just protect my Moltres this turn and take out whatever Pokemon I want to with my Dragonite. He's going to go. He's going to go Rillaboom. And he might fake me out, so I'm definitely just going to protect Moltres here. And the Grass Surge is going to get popping. So protect Moltres, and then we're going to get after... Uh, who do I even go after? I can go after whoever I want. I can do whatever I want. I'm just going to Airstream and take that out. That's pretty simple. Pretty simple play there. Go here, and then just drop an Airstream, and pretty much call it GG. Pretty much call it a Dragonite sweep right here. Like, Dragonite's just going off left and right. But this is exactly how Azback made this seem. Like, I saw it right away when he sent me the Poke Pace. Actually, Poke Pace will be in the uh, description below if you guys want to uh, check out this team and get all its information on it. Because I know you guys are going to be asking about it considering it is a Dragonite team and it is fire. It is totally fire. Protect comes out. But what, one thing I would change, like I said in the beginning, I wouldn't change it, but you could put Tapu Fini in instead of a Primarina. I just feel like it, it would do better. But Rillaboom, gone, get it out of here. This is a game. It's a game, dude. Easy works against actually a very strong team that I thought we were going to struggle with the Blaziken. But the follow me, he didn't know about the Comfy and the Dragonite combo right here. Like, it is fire. It is unreal, as you guys can see. Metagross goes for a body press. We're protecting. It's GG. It's game over. Let's get it, yo. Let's get it. My dude, Dragonite. I can EQ now, too. I can Earthquake without hitting any of our Pokemon, too, which is wonderful. And then I think I'm just going to drop a Fiery Wrath because I really want to see us move. And do I, I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect Dragonite. I'm just going to protect Dragonite, considering I haven't seen Fiery Wrath yet, and I guess it's a what's called its move. I guess it's Glaring Moltres' move, so I really want to see what it does, or how it looks at least. Let's get it. Oh, my lord. Oh, oh, baby. Look at all spiffy. Look at all good. Watch, this thing's going after my Dragonite, I bet. No, he's going to go after my Moltres. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We eat up. It's game over. It's GG. Oh, you're getting some HP. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. But just look at my team. Like, just look at these Pokemon that are out here. They look amazing. They look amazing. I'm going to drop an EQ. Can't hit my Moltres. Chilling. Fire. 1-0 to get us started. What an awesome battle. Like, this is exactly what I wanted to do in the first battle. Show this off real quick. This is, like, one of the main things we get after. A Bully Punch coming out. That's a tasty snack you got there. That is a real tasty snack. 
I cannot wait to show off uh, Metagross team as well. I got Garchomp team on the way. I got Skeptile team on the way. I got the, the Landorus, the Thunders. I got all that stuff coming at you guys. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you know when my videos go live and stay up to date with all this good new Pokemon stuff. Now it's getting a little crazy. Look at this dude's team. This team is unreal. He has Galarian Zapdos, Galarian Moltres, Galarian Articuno, Crobat. Um, what is that thing called? Calyrex, right? It's a new uh, Pokemon, the new legendary riding on the ghost dog or ghost horse. And then one of the new Reggie forms. It's not the dragon one. I forget what this one's name is, considering I haven't really beat the Crown Tundra yet. But that leads me to say, like, Twitch streams are back. Head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We're streaming three to four days every single week, every single Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Are de those are designated days for me. We are back streaming at least three days a week. And then other days, I would definitely pick up if I have time. But um, who should I lead here? I kind of want to show off the Moltres side of this team and go Amoongus and Moltres. But oh my god, this guy's team is just unreal. It's just absurd. So we're going to go Amoongus and uh, Moltres. Uh, do I, I think I bring Confi in here. And then maybe just have Dragonite chilling in the back. I kind of like I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. I'm messing with it. I like it because I feel like we can uh, sweep up Moltres. So if I have two support mons, we can just be thriving and getting after it. I feel like I feel like we can uh, we can pick up a win here. If we pick up a win here. This seems OP. This seems OP if we pick up a win here, guys. <laughs> like this dude's team is like unreal. Like just stacked on legendaries, but it doesn't look like he has too much team synergy. So maybe we can work around this and uh, get going with uh, just normal Pokemon plays. He's gonna go Reggie Eleki. That is what's called Reggie Eleki. It's electric one and Galarian Articuno, and the other one's Reggie Draco, I think. But we're gonna get Amoongus out here. We're gonna get thriving. Uh, he might go for the air move probably if I had to guess. And I'm gonna set up a plot. I'm gonna get plotting. Dude. The rage powder. Get after this, and we're gonna get plotting. We got a nice plot. Try to set up plus two. Actually, I, mm, this thing have discharge. Is does what's called have discharge? Reggie Eleki. It probably does. Thunder Cage gonna come out here. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Luckily, that's going after the Moongus. He's trying to go after my Moltres. So, Rage Powder definitely. Oh, you trapped the Moongus, so he cannot swap out. Plot setting up. I'm Dynamax the next turn. I'm Dynamax the next turn. I'm trying to run this battle. Articuno is going for a what? A Freezing Glare. Go ahead. Go after my Moongus. Moongus is just going to eat all that up. Moongus says, yo, you got, you got yourself a tasty snack there. Beautiful. Eat that up. Eat it up, buddy. We got off another Rage Powder. Now I can take, take out who I want. Oh, yo, that move's sick. I didn't know it does that. Thunder Cage is doing more damage. Uh, we got a Rage Powder here. And who do I go after? The Max Darkness over on Articuno. I could take out Articuno. But. Oh no, I got a plan. I got a plan. We're going to take out Articuno here. Because I know this will one shot Articuno. I know this will one shot Articuno. So we're going to take out Articuno here, no problem. Um, Rage Powder. So Articuno is going to go down. What's called is going to go down as well. Uh, a Moongus. The so Moogus is going to go down. Articuno is going to go down. We get Confiant as our other support mod. I can start ally switching. I can start doing a lot of different things. And then I take out Regilecki. And then we get rolling from there. Okay. I I'm liking where we're at. I'm liking where, where we're at right now. I'm liking this. I'm liking it a lot, baby. Let's get it. Going for another Thunder Cage. That's totally fine. That's totally fine, yeah. Totally fine. Oh, you do survive this turn. That is even better. That is even better. But I think we do take out this Articuno in the problem, here, right? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, if Articuno sash, then the move will be uh, over there. But Thunder Cage is actually, actually going to take out uh, Amoongus, which is totally fine. He already did his job. Got us to set up Nancy Plot, just Rage Powdering, messing around, and we are, we're doing just fine. We're doing just fine. Amoongus, get out of here. We'll save Dragonite for the back end as a back uh, support mod, and we're gonna get after with uh, Comfy. Bringing in Comfy. And I feel like I just ally switch and start rolling out here. Crobat's coming in here. I feel like Crobat's got to go, but Crobat could be Sash. Crobat could be Sash, so I might want to double up into him, but I really want Reggie Electric. I really do want that thing going out of my face. So I'm actually going to... Do I ally switch? Yeah, I am going to ally switch here. And then do I start boosting speed? The special defense is down. Oh, we got to go for another Max Darkness. Okay. I want to, I want to start boosting speed, but I need Reggie Electric going. Hands down. Alex Switch coming out here. Crobat might go for a Tailwind, which that that's that's a little... That, that could be a threat. That could be a problem. But Thunder Cage coming out here. Eat me, dog. Coffee's avoiding, dog. Coffee's avoiding. Yes, sir. Love to see it. Bob, get this thing out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's minus one on special defense. And we are plus two right now. Crobat special defense drop, and we're going to be able to take out Crobat next turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yo. We thriving. We are thriving out here. Cross Poison comes out. Okay, don't you dare give me the Poison. 
Bruh. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean you give me a poison? But Moltres' ability will allow it to actually, uh, once his health falls below half, we get another special attack boost. So that's actually good. Calyrex comes out here. I'm not too worried about, uh, what's called? As one, that's two abilities. It is unnerved, so no berries. Good thing we have, oh no, we do have one berry on the field. And we have to take out this Calyrex. Calyrex has got to go. And, uh, do I just floral healing here? I feel like I, I act like I'm going to, uh, ally switch, but I'm just going to floral healing here. Just keep my Moltres as strong as it can be right now. If he was smart, he's going to Dynamax, uh, Calyrex, and then, uh, and then, uh, go into a Max Guard. That would be his smartest play. And that would be the smartest play. If he doesn't, it is game. It is GG in a game. Like, Moltres is absolutely running things right now. Here goes the Dynamax. I, I should have actually thought of that maybe a little bit more. Because now that he has, uh, Dynamax, if he protects here, that's going to be a problem for us. That's 100% going to be a problem. Maybe I should have just went after Crobat and took that out. But the thing is, if I take out Crobat, this thing can potentially smoke. Which is a huge problem. But his problem is worrying about that ally switch. Like, I'm in his head right now. He doesn't know if I'm going to send it or not. Floral healing comes out. We get some HP. Give me some give me some HP back. I'm sick of this. Yes, sir. Almost up to full. And Max Phantasm is going to come out here. Go after a comp. Yes! Yes, he thought I was ally switching, baby. He thought I was ally switching. We're chilling here, yo. We, this is going to be huge. This is going to be huge. My defense is going to drop. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. We got Max Darkness. Stab, Life Orb, plus two. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. Get out of my face. Yo, dominating with this team. Like, I have never had a better performance than this. We get to crit two. I think it was dead anyway, to be honest. I don't, I'm no pokey calc master, but that's some, that's some big damage going out there. Get out of my face. Get it out of my face. We've run things. And now poor little Crobat has to deal with this whole team. But Crobat's an absolute beast. Crobat is an absolute beast right here. Bam, bam, and then. Poison coming out. Bam, 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 bam. And then, dude, it's over. It's over with. It's over with. I saw that we can do this early on. We get that nasty pot set up. And now we're just rolling. It's GG. It's GG. We got Conf here. Uh, I'm going to go for a Fiery Wrath. Oh, what's a double hitting move? That is, that is awesome. And I'm going to just floral healing, considering Draining Kiss is going to do absolutely nothing. This dude should just quit. Call it call it a day. Floral healing come out. Dude, Comfy is such a good support mon. It is such a good support mon. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. So good. My wrath. GG. Game over. Get him out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here, man. <laughs> Yo, two battles down. Perfect record, dominated with Dragon Knight in battle number one, and absolutely dominated with Moltres in battle number two. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Jeans is looking for another winning record, trying to go back-to-back -back videos with perfect records. But um, this guy is Metagross, Arcanine, Milotic, competitive Milotic. Gotta watch out for that. Gengar, Tessarina or Serena, T-Silent, you guys tell me that all the time, and Aerodactyl. Okay, um, I feel like he might lead Arcanine, try to get that Intimidate off, so I gotta watch out. Maybe not lead Dragon Knight, considering Dragon Knight... Is, is Dragon Knight? Yeah, Dragon Knight's physical attacking. Dragon Knight is physical attacking, so I kind of don't want to lead Dragon Knight for that intimidate purpose. I could lead um, Moltres again. I could go Moltres Rage Powder, start plotting up, and see how that works out. I feel like that is a smart play going up against this team. And yeah, I think we're definitely going to do that. Go after that again. Moongus, get it. Moltres, get it. Uh, we're going to bring Prem or Dragon Knight at least. I like Dragon Knight a lot. I don't think we need Comfy this match. I really don't think we need a comfy. And I think we just bring Primarina. I think I think Primarina can thrive out here and uh, do some work. Let's get after. Let's get after. We're going for that nasty pot setup again. We're going for it again. And then we have Dragon Knight in the back end to maybe come in here, clean some stuff up. We had him in the back end for the last game, but Moltres just he just stole the show. He just stole the show, dominated that one, and it was GG. But looking for that perfect record, I feel like we can get it. We're playing so well right now with this team. Like I said, the synergy on this team is amazing. Like I saw when Asbach sent me the Poke Pace, like I looked at it, and that's the first thing I noticed. I was like, geez dude we can do so much with this team and just rock out with it but he goes arcanine this is why i led these pokemon we're special attacking here so intimidate isn't really going to do anything pressure's coming out from aerodactyl and the intimidate drops as well okay that's fair i wish i had like uh who had competitive it was articuno articuno in the last video had a uh, competitive nature which would have been pretty strong but i could spore like we know what's coming oh no i got a rage battle aerodactyl's gonna be annoying aerodactyl's gonna be annoying I don't want him just dropping a rock. Oh, we might have Rock Slide. Which is scary. It's scary, scary. Which is really scary. Like, I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. Maybe I should have swapped. But Rage Powder coming out here. Hopefully, he's maybe going for, like, a Stone Edge or something. 
But I can see like a flare blitz and an air slash coming through or a flying move doubling up into my Moongus. But as long as we get this nasty pot up, we're thriving. Then I would like to take out the Aerodactyl and then move on to the Arcanine. Bump, dump, dump. But yo, I haven't used like a nasty pot team in forever. Considering like the, I think the road times kind of dropped off in the last season. In road times, we're usually the, uh, one of the only Pokemon that would rock out with the nasty pot and go from there. And it was so hard to get off a nasty pot with a Gengar. Oh, he does have Rock Slide. The buttery Biscuit. Moltres E. Okay, so Moltres is not going to be a Dynamax Pokemon here. But Zerk is going to come out here. We're plus three. We are plus three. We are fastest on the field. We are fastest. Snarl is going to come out here. That's totally fine. So we're plus two. I am going to go for a Fiery Wrath and just double up. Moving a special attack drop. To me! And then who do I Spore? I think I just drop a Spore. Oh, I'm slowest. I'm slowest, man. That's tough news. That is real tough news. Um, hmm. What is Moltres speed at? You're really slower than an Arcanine end? At 156? Man. I'm dead. I'm dead. I think I just try Spore like the Aerodactyl or something. Or the Arcanine. Who does? Let's, let's get this thing because this thing's just going to pass through me. And then let's try to go for a Fiery Wrath here because it is a double hitting move. If I can pull this off, we're going to be chilling. Hopefully, Rock Slide misses. My Moltres? Yes! Yo! Let's get it! Let's go, Moltres! <laughs> He's thriving out here. Moltres is thriving out here. Snarl comes out. We should be able to eat that up. We're still plus one. We are still plus one. Moltres, let's go! Big dodges. Big dodges coming out here. Plus one still, so not bad. And hopefully we can do some work out here. Fiery Wrath coming out. Yes, sir. Double hitting. Take him out. Yes, yo. We got Aerodactyl out. That's huge. That's huge. We at least got one Pokemon out. And we're going to be putting Arcanine to sleep. Moltres survives his turn again. Very coming out here. This thing's getting some HP. But still, that was huge. That was honestly huge, but lucky at the same time. Lucky at the same time. Spore coming out here. Arcanine, go to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep. I get off another shot here. That's huge. With my Moltres. Ooh. So do not throw something out here that's faster than me. Please don't. Please don't. What is it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Mild. Yes. 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 Um. Definitely spore up on you. That thing actually might protect. Uh. Then I'm gonna just fiery wrath. I'm just gonna fiery wrath. Just keep trying to do damage. Moltres is gonna go down here. You're totally fine. You're slumped, dog. You were slumped. Let's get after it. Go ahead, Moltres. Moltres coming out here, doing some work. Once Moltres goes out, or comes out, or goes down to this uh. Milotic or just life orb damage. We're just gonna get in Dragonite and Dynamax and try to clean this battle up. Cause I can just Rage Powder out. He's gotta be going for a move up against my Moltres. Nope, I forgot. Moltres goes down to Life Orb, then Ice Beam slides over. Double kill. Okay, so we got Primarina and Dragonite. So speed's pretty much on our side. I'm liking where we are sitting. I'm liking where we are sitting. Uh, only thing I gotta worry about is Ice Beam's coming through there. Actually, actually that can proc my weakness policy. I'm gonna actually proc my weakness policy. We get these two out here. It really depends who his last mine is, but Dragonite is probably the option here. It is Metagross, and Metagross is going to get the diamond. Okay. Okay. Scary, but not at the same time. Like, half and half right now. Hmm. Okay, so... What do I do here? I just want to Moonblast, and... I don't want to go after you. And at the same time, I want to boost my special defense. Or I could just fly and dodge a move. I could totally do that. But no, this thing's weakness policy. This thing is going to be weakness policy, so I really don't want to do that. I just want to start dropping attack. Or I could fly, dodge, and move out. Um, hmm. This is tough, because I don't want to proc that thing's weakness policy. I think I'm just going to Dynamax and uh, start dropping that thing's attack. Is he physical attack? Yeah, he's got like bullet punch and all that. So we're just going to be dropping that thing's physical attack and then rolling out from that way. I think like that's the play. I feel like that's play, because I don't want to trigger that thing's weakness policy, have it rolling. Hopefully, maybe he triggers my weakness policy. I gotta be fast on the field, hands down. Yeah, my Dynamax is gonna go first. Dude, this one's gonna be close. Let's get it, Dragonite. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> Dragonite power coming out here, trying to pick up that perfect record with this team. Like, now I kind of wish I had Confi, but not really at the same time. Like, Primarina was a good pick. But if I had Tapu Finny in this lineup, bro, Tapu Finny's fire. As you guys saw in the last video, that last battle was one of the clutchest Pokemon plays ever. Like, Tapu Finny, what was it? He, I was down, like, one to three Pokemon, and Tapu Finny just sweeps out. Things amazing. Things amazing. But Metagross looking like a beast in that Dynamax form. Protect comes out. Ah, oh, you buttered Biscuit. That's fine. That's fine. At least we'll still get that uh, attack drop, which is huge. 
attack drop is still going to come through here. Still a little bit of damage, but it wasn't about the damage. It was more so for that attack drop. And I'll send it again. Like, I'll just keep uh, sending these things. Dropping that thing so it's not doing too, too much damage. And competitive is going to come out here. So I'm just going to keep attacking that mile until it's dead. Uh, moon by oh, is that thing clear bodied? Oh my lord. Is that thing clear bodied? Is Milo clear bodied? Or not Milo, is Metacross clear bodied? I think it is. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let me see. Let me see. Things clear body. Oh, no. Oh, bro. What you mean? Uh, we got to double up into you. Uh, do I start boosting our speed or special defense? Special defense doesn't really matter right now. I think we just go for a stab move and make sure the smile that goes down. The arena is still alive, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Warm wind comes out. I don't want to, I like, I don't want to proc weakness policy. I think we doubled up into that thing. I need that thing more. Primarina should outspeed that thing. Hopefully, Metagross isn't going after my Primarina. Repetitive coming out here. Like, Milotic's gotta go. Milo's gotta go. Ice Beam coming out here. Bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Primarina doesn't outspeed Milotic. What you mean? That is GG. That is GG. I thought my Primarina would be able to outspeed that Milotic. Maybe if we had Tapu Fini, that thing would outspeed. <laughs> but nah, that's gonna be GG. That is gonna be GG. We probably would have had a chance if uh if Primarina outsped there. Yeah, because Steel Spike would have went into my uh Well, like Dragonite would have ate it up all day. And then it would have been a 2v1 situation or a 1v1, and I feel like my Dragonite can absolutely beast out on the, to that uh Metagross. But GG, we go 2 and 1 for this video and have a blast and dominate some battles. I feel like this team right here is going to be one of my favorites out of all the new Pokemon. Just the team synergy on it is amazing with the Dragonite and Comfy combo and the Amoongus Moltres combo. I'm so hyped we got to show it off in battle number one and two. But one last shout out to my boy Azback for dropping this team. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to make me teams, you guys already know the deal. Head in the link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube. My Instagram link is down there. And if you guys want to check out my streams, Jeans25 on Twitch. Link in the description below as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.